welcome to Arthur Brown Photography. Uh, today we're at the um, National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham for the UK Photographic Show. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, we took it. I'll get focus on that. There we go. Uh, we just uh, we got soaked walking in from the uh, the car park, so we just sat down now, uh, having a nice cup of coffee and a coconut macaroon uh, to get warmed up and dried out. But we're going to go and have a look around in a few minutes. Well, it was fairly yeah, fairly crowded uh, in the cafe, even at 10:30 when we arrived. Uh, I say there was uh, one or two pretty good uh, photographic uh, bookstores there. One was just right outside the cafe here, so. Uh, some nice lighting equipment as well, and, uh, soft boxes and so. Uh, these cine lenses caught my eye, but uh, uh, way beyond uh, the depth of my pockets, unfortunately. You can see most of the major manufacturers there, Fuji, Canon, Epson, people like that. Uh, on the Sony stand, uh, I was actually uh, able to uh, have a chat with uh, uh, another um, YouTube uh, photo video blogger. Uh, this is uh, Lok Chung, who is, uh, is from uh, Hong Kong, uh, and uh, so some of you may know him from YouTube. Uh, some more nice, uh, nice lenses here on the uh, the Irix stand. Now, I'm actually an Irix user, so I was quite interested in these. Uh, I mean, look at some of the new products, like the new 11 mm f/4. Um, some of the displays were quite dramatic, uh, showing this exploded lens being, uh, being and one being held by a robotic hand, which is quite, quite nice. One thing I was interested in uh, is uh, filters uh, for the RX lens, and there's a new range of filters coming out for the rear filter holder. Uh, Nikon had a fairly uh, ambitious stall here as well, uh, where they had uh, products on show, but also some uh, tutorials going on. Uh, and also had this uh, a nice wall of, uh, of prints uh, uh, from Nikon users. Uh, there was some uh, some fantasy stuff there, you know, for, for the uh, people when they win the lottery. Uh, Hasselblad, it's just a, a work of art, isn't it? So uh, I'd love to be able to afford one. Uh, I'd love to, to even to uh, to actually use one. It'd be nice uh, to give it a try out. Uh, there was one or two drones there. This is the uh, the uh, the Phantom Four from uh, from uh, DJI. Uh, there was a, a Lomo stall, uh, and there was a couple of of the of the, uh, the, the Petzl um, brass lenses there, which did catch my eye. Uh, the Canon stand, um, uh, again, you know, like Nikon, was fairly ambitious. Um, but well, they had a, a, a guy painting, which uh, I wondered why he was painting on a photography stand. But anyway, it gave some nice colours to uh, take pictures of and uh, and to film. Uh, this is just showing, yeah, showing 30 years of the of the EOS system and all the hundreds of lenses that they do. Uh, there's one or two good sh good shops there. Uh, uh, Calumet there had a had a, had a, a shop uh, with some fairly good prices. Although I did resist the temptation to actually buy anything. Um, yeah, but towards the time it's actually starting to get to get very very crowded. Uh, I thought going on a Monday it might be better, but uh, there were some more uh, live demonstrations going on. Uh, this this was the uh, using the the, the, the Wacom uh, tablets uh, in Photoshop. Lauer had uh, some nice lenses on the show as well. Uh, there's this company called the Barbershop uh, Bag Company. Had some wonderful bags, but at a quite a high price. Again, uh, it's something I'd love to own and may think about uh, sometime in the future. Uh, there was this wonderful contraption, uh, which is really for, for sporting events and, uh, and concerts and things. It's a completely motorised robotic uh, uh, camera um, holder. Uh, a lot of the uh, the major um, print companies were there showing off their wares and some fairly creative stuff, uh, and then there's more um, more bookshops as well. So uh, more books than you could possibly read in a lifetime, I'm sure. This is quite fascinating. I don't quite know how it works. It seems to, it seems to have um, sequins that disappear when you rub them. Uh, there's another another bag shop, uh, Fig Bags. These are quite impressive actually. They did uh, uh, some nice. Uh, Kind of satchel like camera bags no, uh, and some okay. quite nice um, camera straps as well. So, you know, nice tall so leather, nice colours. Uh, again, some more of the printers on the show, so showing some nice prints on nice substrate materials. Uh, and back to um, a live demonstration of um, radio flash triggers. Uh, on the Nikon, uh, Nikon stand, showing people how to fire remote, a number of remote flashes from one camera. Uh, and then again, we're on to uh, some more uh, more lighting here. Uh, again, showing how how to uh, to soften the lights uh, 
uh, on a model's face uh, by using different modifiers um, on, on the flash guns. Uh, so this is quite a, a complicated uh, technical demonstration. Uh, again, we're back to bookshops again. Uh, now this just uh, caught my eye somewhat. It's a, a, a miniature 4K drone. Uh, my Canon 70D was ha having some trouble keeping autofocus on it because there was a, um, a net around the, the stool to stop the drone from escaping, uh, which confused the autofocus slightly. Uh, when I actually reviewed this back, I um, it suddenly got the feeling that, you know, although I was filming him, he was actually probably filming me as well through the drone. Uh, that's a uh, surveillance uh, culture for you. Creepy. <laughs> uh, there were some giant uh, Canon printers there. So uh, uh, again, some more uh, print foundry. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, and those kaleidoscope printers as well. Very, very impressive. Well, that was a good day out at the, uh, the photo show at the NEC, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to look out for my next video. There's Arthur Brown Photography. Bye for now.